I am an idiot that reviews movies, and today I'll be reviewing a light-hearted documentary. What uh, would happen to you personally if you couldn't finish the game? I would kill myself. Indie Game the movie shows the past, present, and future stages of developing an indie game by following four handsome gentlemen. They are sore winner Jonathan Blow, the only developer who will fight with you if you like his game for the wrong reason. Every time you mention his name, he would like show up in your comments. The two halves of Team Meet, which include Edmund, a social butterfly like myself. I desperately want to communicate with people, but I don't want the messy interaction of having to make friends and talk to people because I probably don't like them. And Tommy, an MLG Pro Call of Duty player. Whatever. If if people want to buy. Modern Warfare or Halo Reach, that's fine because I think those games are shit. And and who could forget America's sweetheart, the prestigious Pumpernickel, a man who got fired from Ubisoft before it was cool. 9-11 on the court, but number one in your heart, the level-headed legend, Phil Fish. I'm gonna lose my shit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna fucking murder that guy. First off, I think starting the documentary in Medias Res or whatever it's called on Super Meat Boy's launch day was a stroke of genius. Second off, apparently the directors followed a bunch of people but then said fuck it and cut it down to these four and that was a great decision. Because even though I'm poking fun at them a little bit, I like them all to various degrees and I do think they're interesting people. But seeing Phil Fish go through a roller coaster of emotions is definitely the best part of the whole thing. 11,000 likes on Facebook and 209 retweets. People enjoy Fez. Almost universally, it seems. And then later I went back at the hotel and I checked it again and realized it was a fluke and we, actually we had zero likes. Why do I care so much about this? How many likes I get on a stupid website? Why do I let these things affect me uh, at all? I know some people don't like Phil, but I'll take a million Phil fishies over dudes like this. For as long as I've played games, I've been a massive fan of the Nintendo platforms and amazing culture of creativity. So much so that when my first born son was born, my wife and I gave him the middle name Luigi. It also has surprisingly good cinematography and doesn't overstay its welcome, coming in at one hour and 36 minutes, excluding credits. Make sure you watch the international version because the Canadian version is nine minutes shorter because they ruin everything. The future of mankind. So we'd like you to look uh, we, we like to say people kind. Kill yourself, Canada. If I had to rate this, I'd give it 87 Jonathan Blows in the Dark out of 100 public outbursts. Compare your life to mine and then kill yourself. Channel update is just to say my upload schedule will be all over the place from now on because I have the attention span of a golden retriever with Down syndrome. And I'm very distracted by several other uh, very important things right now. Oh, and Phil, I expect Fest 2 on my desk by Monday, or me and my goons are coming for you. 